Hey, good morning, Maria. Back with another video. So it's Saturday, and I'm doing my laundry, and I have a lot of dirty clothes to speak. So I'm sitting here wearing a pair of pants in the house, and I will tell you, it is hot for pants. I'll tell you that. This is like a, 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 a very um, thin cotton pair of pants um, that I made, and I will tell you, even though it's a very thin type, like a kind of like a bed sheet type material, it's still hot. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, um, but then again, that's the weather for you. So I was thinking today, um, as I was doing my laundry, I was thinking about um, how oftentimes, you know, it's very difficult to develop professional contacts um, without people mis, mis um, interpreting, you know, um, your actions. And no matter how professional you are, um, people tend to um, misread into it because they are themselves either corrupt or they are projecting their own bullshit on you. So I remember when I was um, got a job through an agency um, and I got I got placed at a place called, um, I'm not going to name the place, okay, um, but it was an oil deal, okay, it was a pharmacy. I got a job at a pharmacy located in oil deal through a, um, an agency and um, the lady on the phone, um, this is the part-time job that I was, I was mentioning. The lady on the phone had mentioned the name of a CPA here in town that um, gave me a reference. Now, I never put his name down as a reference, okay? But um, I figured since, you know, the company I was working for, the Murrays, um, uh, probably didn't fully understand accounting that they probably had this person give me a reference, okay? So... What I did was I wrote a thank you letter. Now, thank you letters are supposed to be a, a professional way of keeping contact with people who helped you, okay? And um, I felt so this person didn't, I didn't ask this person for help, but I appreciated that. So when I give people notes, like for example, when I was working at the um, broadcasting, the, the news station, um, when I had my interview with the two ladies, um, that was my immediate supervisor, her name, um, I'm not going to mention her name, and then I was replacing this person, they both interviewed me. I both gave them a thank you letter, okay? So this is a way of being professional, okay? This is what just about every professional um, magazine or advice um, column or whatever will tell you to do, okay? It's the way of standing out. And so this is what I've done. And so I, I somehow think that people misinterpret that. I also think that, you know, sometimes when you are um, on certain social media sites like um, LinkedIn or um, uh, Facebook or, or whatever, um, when you friend a person, like for example, I'm in a group, okay? I'm in a, in a group that's supposed to be for target individuals or whatever. Um, if you are somebody who who, um, for example, reaches out to somebody on LinkedIn, for example, okay? Um, do people use these sites for things other than jobs? Because I'm going to tell you, the mindset of people is becoming very skewed, okay? When I do something that's related to my work, it is about work, plain and simple, okay? So I, I suspect that, you know, um, people gossip and they create shit in their minds, okay? That... Um, really shouldn't be there. You know, just about every job interview that I've ever been on, I've given um, a, 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 a thank you letter, okay? In the past, I would write these thank you letters either by hand or I would do them um, on the computer and mail them, okay? And then I started emailing them, okay? And then when I started getting um, baited for jobs, I stopped giving out thank you letters altogether because it was just becoming more and more of a nightmare. So, um, you know, my thoughts are trying to move away from this bullshit that happened in this community. It really is. Um, I don't want to have to think about it anymore, and I'm trying to, very hard to get myself together and figure out, you know, what I'm going to do with the rest of my life because this has been the biggest nightmare that has ever happened in my entire life, okay? People make up stories about other people and that aren't true, and, and, they, and they do it um, mainly because they need a source of gossip and I'm tired of being a source of gossip okay I, I'm so tired of it okay my life is one of uh, one of work and one of somebody who basically is engrossed in her hobbies when I'm not at work okay 
So I have a very even balance, meaning, you know, I focus on work. If I contact somebody through LinkedIn, it's about me developing real business contacts, okay? It's not about, not that I'm using LinkedIn right now, but that's what it's about, you know what I mean? And I think people make up so much shit that, um, and, and create stuff in their mind because that's what they do, okay? Unlike most people, I take my work seriously, you know? I do. I'm all about work. When I'm at work, I'm at work, period, you know? And, and developing professional business contacts, um, that's what it is for me, okay? I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, now I have to start my life all over again, you know, and I'm trying to figure out and formulate plans for me to do that. But I will tell you, um, I don't want to be misunderstood, okay? I don't. I'm a very professional person. And um, th that's all it is for me, period. You know what I mean? My work life is separate from my, um, my personal life, and that's the way it's supposed to be, okay? Now, I think... The very fact that so many people got involved in my personal life is because they have a hard time separating separating what's business related and what's personal. Okay, um, my lie that I told my husband many years ago has nothing to do with my work. Okay, and anybody with half a brain should know that. Okay, <laughs> I mean, some people on the outside they might think, like for example, somebody who's not who doesn't work in management or doesn't work for a company, they might think differently. Okay, they might think that has that has some sort of bearing on something. Okay. But it doesn't. And if you have a job, like I said, relating to this kind of work, you should have known better. Okay? I am all about my work. 100%, 24 hours a day. My work-related things are separate from my home things. Okay? And I have preferred always, before I knew my family was involved in my personal life um, and getting involved in my work life, um, I always believed in keeping everything separate. Like, I don't want to sit here and talk about work at home, and I don't want to talk about home at work. You know what I mean? It, to me, it's like, it, it, I don't like that. It's just, to me, it's just, I'm not comfortable with that. Unless, of course, I develop, you know, like, for example, if I met a lady at work, and I've clicked with people at work before where we develop relationships, where we do things on the weekend, okay? And that's nice, okay? Um, but, you know, for the most part, that's not my intention. My intention is I'm a very goal-oriented person, and that's my focus. So, anyway, that was my thought today. And, you know, um, I, I really do regret coming to this town because I... I I, um, I see how unprofessional it is. It, it is extremely unprofessional. A lot of the people here don't work um, in, in the correct working method. And it has been a source of discouragement for me. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up, and I will be back with another one later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.